Big time main event coming up this weekend. It's not the featherweight pairing that we were due. Max Holloway is supposed to take on Yair Rodriguez, but we do have a neat fight coming up at lightweight. Russia's Islam Makhachev taking on Brazil's Thiago Moises. And Matt, we talked about it behind the scenes. We said, hey, you can find us at Craig Allen FNP on Twitter and Instagram, at Matt Allen FNP on the respective socials. But Thiago Moises, I don't know who flipped the switch in this guy's face in his last two fights. But it's third to last fight. He fought Michael Johnson. He gets beat in terms of the boxing by Johnson in the first round. Johnson's going to win the fight. And then in the second round, it's like Michael Johnson got lazy and Thiago Moises took his leg home. Oh. But in Thiago's last two fights, it's like he watched that movie Drive Angry. And he just decided, I'm going to fight angry and pissed off. And it's like a whole new Thiago Moises. He fights Bobby Green. He bites down on the mouthpiece. Whole new guy. Then he brings it into his last fight against Alexander Hernandez. And totally outstrikes him. And it's like, who the hell is this guy? It feels like Tiago Moises. And listen, this is going to be a big over-exaggeration, but just bear with me. He's on one of those Charles Oliveira type streaks before Oliveira got his chance to fight the top guys in the division. Now, the difference is that Oliveira was finishing guys on the mat and on the feet. And it was knockout submission pretty much every time out there. But Moises has some of the game that Oliveira does. The jiu-jitsu of Moises is not something that you want to mess around with whatsoever. And we really did see that in the Michael Johnson fight. How many Michael Johnson fights has he looked? great until he hasn't. A lot of them. And that was really what happened in the Moises fight because it was weird. Moises, just didn't, he didn't seem comfortable on the feet with Michael Johnson. Michael Johnson was having his way with him. But the second that the tie did switch in that fight and Moises was able to get that 50-50 position on the leg, you could just tell that there was such a big skill gap in the grappling between those two guys. And like, Michael Johnson's not a terrible grappler. I understand that's not at the forefront of his game, but it's not like Michael Johnson's out here getting submitted by everybody. And the fact that Moises beat him by heel hook too, like that's such an impressive way to beat a guy. And it will be really interesting against a guy like Islam Makhachev because for Makhachev, we had a little bit of pushback, oddly enough, in his last performance against Drew Dober. I know we were both pretty confident that he was going to beat Dober, but it did feel like there were a lot of people out there saying, oh, if Dober can only defend a couple takedown tests, if he can just keep this on the feet past the first, you know, few minutes, then he might be able to land a big shot. The issue is that Makashev hasn't really shown us throughout his career that A, he is overly hittable, and B, he's just so dominant with the wrestling. It's that, okay, what's your counter to my, like, one-two? It's to wrestle you. What's your counter to my jiu-jitsu? It's to wrestle you. And the top position of Makashev is just so dominant that he might be one of those few fighters out there who can go out there and actually get an offensive takedown on Moises and not pay with it by getting submitted immediately. So, Islam Makachev famously has only lost one fight, and it was against Adriano Martins in his second UFC fight. He gets knocked out in the first round. He gets caught with a crazy shot, and Martins back in his day was a really good fighter. So since then he goes out, he beats Chris Wade, Nick Lentz, Gleason Tebow, Cajun Johnson, Armin Zaruki, and Davi Hamosh, Drew Dober, and now he gets Thiago Moises. And he finally gets his main event. And the most important part, this is a five-round fight. He was supposed to have a five-round fight against Rafael Dos Anjos when they had to move it around, shake it out. Dos Anjos tested positive for COVID. Makachev was out of the fight. It was craziness all around. But finally, we get a five-round Makachev fight. So now we get to see what you're made of. But Matt, we have to throw it on over to the Fight Night Picks fans. We thank you There's because, listen, it's been absolutely insane. Last weekend was insane. I threw it out there for a poll in the community tab. Another big week ahead with UFC Vegas 31 and another lightweight main event. Is somebody going to break a leg? Probably not. But who's getting the win? 89% of 1,900 total votes went Makachev. 11% with Moses. And we'll give you, again, some credit. Vex... Isidic said, you guys did great last week. Well, thank you. Thank we you. appreciate that. Akash Deep, you're always there every week. Time for Islam to do his thing. He's a future champ for sure. Uh, Tamo said, voting for Moises so I can get a better bet line. Go anyway, Crow. Moses will have to part some rivers in order to win here, me thinks. Pretty good. And the last one that we'll go with, Matt, we will go and pick, um, who else? Moro D says, Moises has a real chance of beating Islam. And Wyatt Kenny, for fun, you're here every week. Everybody is so confident in Islam. While I do think he will get the win, Tiago Moises being overlooked slightly here. I think that we've thrown Tiago Moises a bone because this is a guy that I always thought of as, man, his jiu-jitsu is insane. He's really young in the division. And even though he lost to Robert Watley with LFA, Benil Dariush and Demiris Magulov, the guy still has a high ceiling. It was just after those losses, it kind of clouded my judgment as to how good he could be. His last three fights, he's looked really good. His last two, he's looked great. His last fight, he looked amazing. He did, but unfortunately, he's fighting a guy who doesn't entertain any of the ranges or the strengths that Tiago Moises himself has. For Moises, 
He has good jutsu off his back, but I'm having a very hard time thinking of ways that he's going to be able to submit Islam Makashev, a guy who's been training with the likes of, like, Habib his whole entire life, and Habib is quite good at submissions in his own right. So, for me, I think Moises can have success, oddly enough, on the feet more than on the yeah. mat. I do think he can actually box up Makashev a little bit, but again, it's always going to come down to, can you defend the takedown attempts of Islam Makashev? And... Here's the one good thing I'll say. We're going to learn a lot about Islam in a five-round atmosphere because let's say Moises can extend this past the second round, into the third round, even the fourth and the fifth. We might see Makshev fall off a cliff. Like, he does fight with a very, very high work rate and he's a guy who you could very see, very well see, okay, he can fight like this for two rounds and then the cardio falls off and you can beat him in the last three. I... I just feel like we look at Makashev and we just assume that, okay, his ceiling is Habib's ceiling, but I honestly don't think that's the case. I think he'll go out there and beat Tiago Moises in what should be a much more fun fight than the odds would suggest, but personally, I don't see his ceiling being like title or bust. It might seem crazy to you to think that Moises would have success striking. Islam Makachev right now holds the UFC all-time record for every division, everything put together and everybody that's ever fought in it. At strikes absorbed per minute at 0.77. And I mean, you look at the stats, it's an absolutely incredible line. You should definitely check it out. UFC stats, wherever you can find them. But if you do look at it, yeah, the differential is great. Two strikes landed per minute to 0.77 absorbed. That's a 70% defensive clip. Moises has a 60% defensive clip. That's pretty good in his own right. Takedown defense for Makachev, 93%. Nobody's taking him down. No. He's taking you down. If we have a look at the votes, again, they weren't even close. Topology is the same. So let's have a look at the odds because you did talk about them just quickly. He opened a minus 500, did Makachev. He's a minus 671 right now on best fight odds for Tiago Moises. Open plus 375. He's plus 461 right now. He has so much stacked against him in terms of like, like, I, I understand it. Everybody out there right now, or the large majority, a lot of Makachev support, a lot of fans for this guy. I think his style is very exciting, where it's weird, right? He's not one of those guys that I would expect to, you plop him down in Vegas, throw him in the main event of a big pay-per-view. Fans are probably going to boo parts of it because he's going to work for the takedown. He's going to have you on the mat. He's going to transition a lot, get into a favorable, favorable position, and then they're cheering because he cinched up either submission really quickly or he knocked a guy out on the ground. Like, he does insane things, but he's such a tricky fighter. I think for all of those reasons, even some of the intangibles, I like Makachev in this fight. But I'm of that camp that, do I like him at those odds? Not necessarily for me, but I'm not the type to stretch it over a minus 500. I've been burned in the past. Okay, I feel like we say that a lot, but this is one of the few times where I don't look at this like a big parlay buster. Like, Tiago Moises, I think, is a borderline top 15 talent on his best day. He's in it now. He is, but th this is what I mean. Like, he's like, what, 14th right now, 15th? I think he's one of those fighters where if he gets a great win, then they'll just throw him in the rankings as an excuse to have him in the rankings. I think Islam is going to be able to wrestle a lot of guys in the top 10 and the top 15. It just comes down to where is his ceiling? Like, can you wrestle everybody till he meets Justin Gaethje? And then it's like, okay, once I get a few takedown attempts denied, then I get beat up on the feet. Or will his wrestling style really just carry him all the way to the title? It very well could happen because we've seen a guy with a very similar style to his own do the exact same thing. So for me, I like Makashev in this fight. It's really unfortunate that A, this is his first uh, main event because there's no hype around this main event. Let's call it what it is. And it's unfortunate because for Makashev, he is one of those guys who he just needs the opportunity. He just needs the opportunity. You finally give him the opportunity, but the B-side in this fight is barely a B-side. And listen, it's nothing against Tiago Moises, it's just he doesn't really have a massive fan following behind him, and he hasn't had the chance to really prove himself against the upper level either. So it's unfortunate that this is the main event both guys are in. I think these are both really fun fighters, but I do like Makachev quite a bit. Can't wait to see the fight. Both of us going with Russia's Islam Makachev in this fight. You're not going to want to miss the rest of the content from Fight Night Picks this week. We got a couple of great interviews stacked, locked, and loaded in the queue. Ooh. They're going to be dropping. They're in the lower weight classes, so I'm looking forward to those. We've also got question mark kicks on the weekend. It's two hours before the prelim, so if you're subscribed already, hit the notification bell. If you're not subscribed, subscribe and then hit the notification bell. Likes are always appreciated. Those are always free. You can help out the guys by checking out the store at fightnightpicks.com. we get great stuff over there. Articles, write-ups of the interviews as well. It's Joshua Hart's full card betting guide who hit on a what? Plus 900 It was a nice one. Last weekend, as well as the QMK parlay that hits. You're not going to want to miss all of that content. And you can find us over at 15-Minute Card Breaks. Great stuff over there, too, if you're just an overall sports fan. As always, enjoy the fights this week. And as we always say, Matt, with Fight Night Picks, let's, let's get, get into, into it. it.